Hi friends, hope everyone is fine. In this video, we are going to learn how to access an ESXi host or VM via network. Actually, this is my host PC. It's a desktop PC. I installed the ESXi 6.7 in this PC. And in last videos, we learn how to install and how to configure uh, ESXi everything if you didn't watch then I will give the URL of that videos in the description area now what I am going to do is I'm trying to access that ESXi host via my laptop this is my laptop actually one connection I was activated between the my host PC this is my desktop PC a network cable was connected from my host. This is on network cable that on another end connected to my laptop. Okay, here and some points we need to check. This is the IP address 192.168.0.10. It's a static IP address. I configured the IPv4 address and it comes in the class C network and the network is 192.168.0. So the first thing we need to do in our home PC, we need to configure the LAN of this laptop with the 192.168.0 network. So just configuring the same. First we will see ncpa.cpl. Here we can configure the IP address of this is wired one. No play a connection. Okay. Let's see what the IP address. I think I already configured here. Properties. IPv4 address. Okay, I configured in the same network on 192.168.0 network. Okay, that's fine. And gateway also same on 192.168.0.1. While thing is in a corporate environment or an office environment or having multiple PCs in multiple network, then it can be done via the routing protocols. Here we are using only two PC, so it is better to provide the IP address in the same network. For that purpose, I given the 192.168.0 network and my host is 192.168.0.10. Okay, then we can see. So here, all part is fine. 192.168.0.7. Okay, yes, okay. Yeah, multiple default gateway. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So accessing my ESXA host via network here, I need to give the IP address of ESXA host. The IP address I given, how to give the IP address, everything I mentioned in the previous video. Anyway, I will give the URL in the description area. This is my IP address on 92.168.0.10 that I am going to give in my laptop let's see on 92 on 68.0.10 it's already earlier i already given that so it's given available in the cache okay your connection is not private okay to get chrome higher okay and you mentioned that your connection is not private but it's not an issue I'm going to select the advanced option. Okay, then I mentioned that proceed to 192.168.0. I'll zoom it. Proceed to 192.168.0.10 and save. Yeah, I got my host VMware VMware ESXi host. Here we need to give the username and password. 
the username by default it comes as the root i didn't change at the configuration time anyway i will include the descriptions in how we can given the username password and everything and the password at the time of configuration i given on password that password i am given here that also i given here and click the login button yes this is my host I give some messages the product participate vm do you want to participate in the vm where experience experience improvement program actually i am drawn on i am using this as a trial version i click okay yes in this way we can access the vmware host via network okay here a lot of features are available we can see what's the thing i didn't configure any virtual machines that's why the virtual machine count it is showing is here we can see the virtual machine count this is zero and storage i have two disk here the virtual machine uh, virtual machine is storage is comes in the vmfs format uh, actually two disk is available that it shows that the uh, storage is C2 and networking by default it takes the VM NIC 0 that is the onboard storage it shows the network 0 VM NIC 0 standard port group VM switch 0 we installed I will ESXi at that time the V switch 0 is created similar we can also create many switches virtual switches and everything we switch is the virtual switch yes here we will go some other components as well host okay if you want we can take the vcenter host create register from here onwards we will go to register vm that we will um, discuss in next video how to create a virtual machine and this is the version 6.7.0 update 3 is the build version and here for reboot the particular host for reboot show shut down the host this is the things here we can see some actions what are the actions here enter for maintenance mode lockdown mode permissions this all we can see in the coming videos what is lockdown mode enterprise maintenance mode permissions and all those things here it allowed the um, cpu used 2.1 megahertz memory 1.29 gb used capacity 15 actually this is a desktop pc instead of 16 gb storage used is 2.83 gb capacity 1.1 tb you will see the storage as well i mentioned that it's a two hard disk i installed here This is a DVD drive, we can ignore that one. This is the on TB hard drive. And this is a SSD. In this SSD, I installed the ESXi host. Uh, and the on TB HDD, for better performance, I installed in the SSD. Okay, these are the components available here. Here it gives the root at 192.168.0.10 if you want we can change the name itself networking earlier we saw the networking here we can if we click on create register if you want to create a new vm then we can create from here that's fine then here the manage this is the window for host manage here we can see the systems these all things we can detail cd in the next part hardware packages services a lot of services are available here from here we can enable or disable the services dcu direct control user interface you see if a stop the service we can start a running service we can stop those all things we can do from here
activity and the uses from here we can edit the new users certificates or indication you can join if you want to join domain usually we don't join domain by using say host certificates users from here we can create the new user and we can enter the description and for the new users we can enter the roles and all those things that things we can study in the next next part here the monitoring part for the troubleshooting this is necessary at that level only we need to find out the monitoring parts the logs from here we can see what are the changes we have done for this part this is a hardware part what we have done recently those everything will be we can see from here okay thanks for watching hope everyone like this video in the coming videos we will go to the detailed parts thanks a lot for watching have a nice day everyone